Hey guys, today I'll explain you about bond fission or bond cleavage. It's bond fission. So, bond fission or cleavage of a bond is nothing but the process in which a covalent bond is broken. Okay, that's the definition of cleavage of a bond or bond fission. These are of two types. They are homolytic and heterolytic. I'll go first with homolytic. A lot of base examples for it first. We have chlorine. It's actually Cl2. Under homolytic cleavage, we get Cl plus Cl. Okay, don't forget about these dots. I'll explain you what they are. So basically, this chlorine is bonded with another chlorine through a covalent bond where both of them share electrons and that is this so under homolytic cleavage when a bo when a bond covalent bond is broken we get the atoms in their original configuration that is chlorine with its original atomic number and this chlorine also with its original atomic number will be obtained. No charges will be present on them. They are just initial atoms which we had before the combining of chlorine. So this is homolytic cleavage and these atoms or these chlorine um, atoms are known as free radicals. Remember free radicals. So this is what is meant by free radicals and don't forget free radicals means nothing but uh, a free atom with its original electronic configuration is known as a free radical but after bond cleavage. So okay so Okay, I'll explain you the causes of it. Basically, homolytic cleavage is caused or takes place in vapor state. Vapor state under UV heat or organic peroxides. Remember these three, they are actually very important. It will be easy for you to solve the questions if you remember this part. Okay, now we will move on to heterolytic cleavage. What is heterolytic cleavage? Heterolytic cleavage. Heterolytic cleavage is nothing but again breaking of covalent bond but this time when the bond is broken we get ions we get the atoms in ionic forms that is one of them will have positive and other will have negative so I'll explain with an example we have CH3 bonded covalently with chlorine it's nothing but mm, <coughs> Chloromethane under hydrolytic cleavage we get CH3 plus and Cl minus. So in this we have new terms which emerge. These are carbocations and 
carbanions. Obviously, with the name itself, we understand that carbocations will obviously have carbon, and carbanions also will have carbon. So, in this case, although in the uh, heterolytic cleavage, the ion which is positively charged and has a carbon is called a carbocation. Carbo cation and if in any case if we get a negative charge for example we can take cyanide it is carbanion so these are again new terms which we get through homolytic and heterolytic cleavage and this type of uh, bond fission takes place mostly in polar polar covalent substances polar covalent substances so that's almost everything about bond fission or bond cleavage hope you understood it and thanks for watching